In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple man-beating concept that you can utilize really from several different formations. I've been doing this um, from a lot of different formations in Madden, um, but it really works well out of the Gun Bunch Quads. Now, the Gun Bunch Quads is an offense that is seldom used, but I actually think this offense can kind of be brought back in Madden 21, um, especially with how good the flats are and how um, difficult I think it is at times to get pressure in this game. Obviously, there are some ways to do this with nickel 245 and things like that videos we've posted, but um, this bunch quads is kind of an interesting concept. I want to break it down for you today. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, Basically, what I do is Madden 21 tips and tricks videos. Um, we do about four of these every single day. We do film studies, scheme breakdowns, all that fun stuff. So if you're interested in getting the food to chew on that this channel is going to offer you, then I highly encourage you to click subscribe at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, so I want to go over this play uh, from a bunch of quads, and there's really a couple of – it's kind of a two-part series, so we'll be posting a couple of plays from this. But uh, one of the plays that I really, really like is obviously spot. I love the spacing play. I love inside posts, and I love bunch trail, um, obviously. So uh, we're going to go over inside posts here today. Now, this is very similar to the inside posts from the shotgun bunch out of the Carolina playbook, but I think it's a little bit better, honestly. Um, you have this flat route to the tight end. You have this running back flexed out, and he is going to allow there to be a very nice little matchup uh, issue for the defense, especially as it pertains to Godwin. So what you're going to be able to do from a man beating perspective in this formation is you're really going to be able to beat man really, really well. As you see here, we can low ball pass lead inside this curl route on the right side um, against man to man. Um, from here, we can also do another little, uh, an interesting little tactic that I just started doing. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to motion your tight end out to the right. You're going to put him on a zig and then you're just going to motion him back in. And basically what that's going to do for you is it's going to make that zig so it's unbumpable and against man most of the time he's going to beat him for some random that's kind of random um that david actually boxed him on this typically they're going to beat man to man coverage let me show you this one more time here so i'm just going to motion gronk out i'm going to put him on a zig and then i'm going to motion him back in and i'm going to press coverage on defense and what you're going to see is this is going to create him as an unbumpable and that's more the separation that i'm talking about so as you can see he beats man to man to the outside you know, very, very easily. So you now have, you know, this flat route has now become a zig route, which it might be a little bit better in my opinion. And then after that read, you can jump to the cross and obviously crossing routes, they've been beating man to man all year long. So you have that read as well. So really, and now what you've got, once you do all of these uh, different motions from here, uh, you can motion Gronk back in. And basically your motions, the only thing that I wish you could do is I wish you could motion this right side guy in this formation, but you can't. But what you can do is you can, um, you know, just run this like this and you'll see Godwin's route typically will beat man to man to the inside, as you can see right there. So what you really have in this formation is a formation that really does do, you know, in my opinion, the knock on five wide is not what it can do against zone. It's more along the lines of what its difficulties are, especially against man and the ability to beat man consistently. Well, with this little play right here, you're going to be able to beat man to man. As you can see, that route to Godwin, um, just trust it. The route just gets open, um, I'm telling you right now. And then you can go to something like this play, Bunch Trail. And what you see out of Bunch Trail is you got this post route to Leonard Fournette. You have these corner routes that are really, really good as well. Um, and so what I like to do out of this basically is just take Godwin and put him on a streak and then basically take Gronk and leave him on this little trail route. And then on the backside, I've got just a basic, you know, post or a little, little, um, little hitch or whatever, but the trail route will typically do okay against man to man. Um, and then you can also basically create, um, a flood concept on this right side of the field with this scissors action. So let me show you what it does to cover three really, really quickly. This is just cover three um, with the flat zones on it. I'm going to put the tight end on a little flat route just to shoot him out. And what you'll see is Antonio Brown's route um, will typically um, beat that coverage. Now, the one thing you would want to do on this specific uh, play breakdown is you would definitely want to, you know, what I like about the bunch quads is it really allows you to, you know, really flood the zones. Um, as you can see here, this is a nice little, you know, several member flood 
uh, on this, and you're going to be able to beat zone you know, pretty easily from this with the simple flood concepts that you can run. And you can do it from, you know, obviously you can do it from inside post. You can do it from um, this other play right here. It has this nice wiggly fade for that cover two defense that you can utilize. So a lot of different concepts that you can really apply out of the five wide, especially if you, you know, use these little motion zigs to basically, you know, get them unbumpable comes back into the bunch and now what I've got is these little motion zigs and I still have that nice you know inside post route that I can hit to that that deep um, receiver so obviously this formation took a little bit of a hit whenever QB draw stopped being so effective but I seriously think that there's you know some play for this this year um, you've got really really good flood concepts you've got in my opinion um, the best route in Madden 21 which is the spot route the Z spot route I love this route this year. Uh, I love it smart routed. This little S route, you're seeing a lot of people use this this year. It torches man and torches zone. Really difficult to use, in my opinion. So check this play out if you haven't already. Check out the bunch quads. I think there's definitely some stuff you can do. And what I th also really like about this formation is if you ran something like the spacing concept right here, and I just take Fournette, put him on a smoke screen, put the tight end on a curl, you know, something like this. Very, very simple little route concepts. But you'd be surprised at how well they work. You'd be surprised at how well these little simple, you know, pin and pull um, pieces of the zone really are going to be very effective for you this year. And I, I absolutely love this little uh, natural, the natural picks and rubs that you get out of this formation. Because it's a quads look, I think it actually gets a little bit better separation against man. So, for example, if I were to run something like Bunch Trail and I took Chris Godwin, I put him on a drag route, what you're going to see is, He's just going to kind of get through that, and there, there's going to be a natural pick and rub that is going to occur, and it's basically going to allow him to get inside separation. So beating man coverage from this formation is not exactly as difficult as you would think, um, especially if you have you know decent route running on your receivers and some slotomatics out there. But really, you know, all in all, this bunch formation really does offer you a lot of different things um, against the defense. You see that this. Inside post route um, will typically get that separation to the inside. I don't know why it didn't happen on, on there right there for me. Um, and part of it has to do with the coverage, making sure that the coverage on the defense. But um, we'll show you this again right here. Right when he cuts the inside there, you see that's the inside position I'm talking about. He's able to get that inside leverage on that. So, um, And then you have, like I said, you know, you have this wiggly fade attached to it. So if, if for some reason they may be running like bump and run coverage, and they take the safety away, you could have a one-play touchdown over the top. And then obviously you have your crossing route to Antonio Brown. So just something to think about, maybe something to mix into your bunch. But I actually really like the spacing play from this. I think the spacing play does a really good job, especially when you take into consideration, you know, again, what you can do against the zone. Obviously it's going to be man with that curl to the tight end and that slant route. Um, if you haven't already just ran, like if you have a solo receiver out of the bunch, like something like this, just run this little slant route, and you'll be amazed at how effective that is uh, against man-to-man, -man, especially if they shade coverage over top. But anyways, guys, we got a full bunch guide out in our text message membership. If you want the video, I'll sh I can shoot it to you in a text. It's over an hour long. breaks down uh, the gun bunch from the Carolina Playbook. So if you want that video, just text me. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. And also, if you haven't joined our Discord yet, be sure to do that. That link is in the description. And other than that, guys, if you want to sign up for a coaching session, those have been going really, really well. Um, it's truly the best way that I can think of to help people get better at this game. Again, the whole goal of my channel is to give people tips and tricks that can help them improve and help them become better players. So if you are looking to get better, I would highly recommend a one-on-one -on -one individualized coaching session. That way we can really get into the little nuances of the game that are hard to explain in a video, but once you're in a conversation with somebody or once you're kind of diving in, it's a lot easier to show you that. So if you haven't signed up for a coaching session yet and you're considering it, I'd highly encourage it. There's a link in the description below where you can schedule those coaching sessions. All right, guys, if you have any questions, be sure to text me. Uh, my number's in the description. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. We will be streaming at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern this evening. I would love to catch you there and probably be playing our CFM game if you haven't joined the PS4 CFM yet and you want to. Uh, it's just $10 to get in, so let me know if you want to join. We do have a couple spots that are about to open up. And other than that, guys, we will see you on stream tonight.